Assignment number two, question six. In the circuit, find this current, the current I naught in the center branch flowing downwards, and express that current in milliamps in MA. This is a perfect case for M and A. I identify the two nodes, one at the bottom down here, one at the top. Choose one as my reference. I'll choose this one as my reference. This is node one. Next step, choose arbitrarily branch currents. Remember, currents in branches are not imaginary currents. Those are true currents. You choose them in any direction, but once you choose them, you do not change them. I'm choosing this one, and I'm choosing this one. The one in the middle branch already chosen for us, you see, I not. I choose them, I leave them like that for the entire duration of the solution. Don't change those branch currents. I saw at least one of you changing them back and forth during the um, cognitive session. Please don't do that. Okay. Now, in m &A, we have three types of equations. The equations for controlling variables, the equation for evil branches, and KCL equations. Do we have any controlling variable in this circuit? No, I don't see any square source. So, no, no. Let's be methodical here. Evil branch equations. Do we see an evil branch here? No. There are three branches. One, one RV branch, another RV branch, and a third one, which is an R branch. No evil branches, no evil branch equations. That is good. So KCL, one for every node who is not the reference one. That leaves us with only one equation, KCL, one. So currents going into that, that node, only one, this one. That is equal to the currents leaving the node, this one I not and this other current in this other branch. Oh, remember, these are branch currents. These are actual currents in those wires. Those are not those imaginary currents that you saw in high school that were circulating in one of the loop. No, 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 no. These are physical currents really flowing in those wires. Currents going in this one. This is an RV branch. And the current in an RV branch is the voltage of the origin. Let me write that. Zero. It's the reference node. Minus of voltage of the destination of the current. Minus V1. Plus or minus the value of the source. In this case, the source is helping the chosen direction of the current. So it's plus 24 divided by the value of the resistance in that branch. 4,000 ohms, so divided by 4,000, 4K if you will, and that is equal to the currents leaving the node, this one, and that one, this one is an RV branch, again, that current can be written as a voltage of the origin V1, minus voltage of the destination of the current, which would be the voltage of the reference, zero plus or minus the value of the source plus or minus six in this case the source is opposing the chosen direction for the current so it's minus six minus six divided by the resistance in the branch a thousand ohms one kilo ohms that's good and then plus the other current the current in the r branch that would be Voltage of the origin of the current V1 minus voltage of the destination V ref is zero divided by the total resistance of the branch. Four kilos in series with two kilos, that is 6,000 ohms. Let's write it. V1 minus zero divided by 6,000 ohms. 
Let me bring the calculator online. So we enter that equation, but because the calculator by default will solve for x according to what it says I'm here. You see, the unknown variable is x. I can change that. I could say it's v1, but I'm not going to do that. I will write instead of a, a instead of v1, I'll write x. Let me enter that equation. 0 minus x plus 24. So first, 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 I go to the equation writer right here. Write equation writer. And I write 0 minus 0 minus v1, in this case x, plus 24, plus 24. If I type divide, the calculator will believe that we are dividing 24, but I want to select what I'm going to divide. Select with the right arrow, select and select according to the video. Divided by 4,000. Divide 4,000. And all of that, if I type equal now, it will equal only the 4,000. Oh, no, no, no. I like what you are going to. That equals to V1, which is X. X minus 0 minus 6. X minus 0 minus 6. I know I'm being a little bit silly here writing minus 0. But it's our first exercise. And all of that divided by 1,000. Select, select, select. Divide by 1,000. And all of that plus V1, which is X minus 0, the reference voltage. Select, select. Divided by 6,000. Oh, I see a typo there. Well, no problem. Let's uh, go back. Let's go back here. It's supposed to be 1,000, right? So I type on top of that 1,000. Enter. That is our equation. The calculator will solve for x. This x. How? Symbolic solver. In your calculator, this is the white shift key. Mm -hmm. And now we choose linear solver. No, the next one. On top of F5, there is solve for X. I click there and I say the voltage X, which is V1, is 8.47 volts. Mm, we can write it. V1 is 8.47 volts. The exercise was asking us to determine I0. I0 is the current in this center branch. I0 is actually this term here. That is the current I0. The current in the middle branch, this one, which is V1 minus 0. Minus 6 divided by 1,000. Well, I take that and compute the current I0. 847 minus 6 divided by a thousand ohms that is the current there is 847 6 minus a thousand divide and there is your current on the right 2.47 10 to the negative 3 that is 247 milliamps. 247 milliamps is your answer. The current, this one, in the middle branch, I naught, is 247 milliamps. And that is the answer to the question 2-6. Second assignment, question 6. Thank you very much.